of John. John, come and join us and hear what I say. We're going to be helpful to people today. Now John were an eager and good sort of lad. The war was, was good and never was bad. I'll go, he shouted to spread the word, as he lightly stepped to the side of the curb, where an old lady stood all ready to cross, and John took her arm for to show her who's boss. What are you doing? She shrieked out with fear as she wrapped her handbag around John's ear. You'll not get any money, so you'd better give in. It's inside me vest and it's fast with a pin. John tried to explain, but before he could utter, she whacked him again and he slid in the gutter. He stuttered and spluttered and stood to the ground, but the old lady was gone and was not to be found. Slightly rebuffed, but still undeterred, as he marched down the road, a loud noise he heard. Outside a shop, in a pram with a hood, a baby was screaming as loud as it could. Quite touched by the sight of the poor little thing, John stuck his head in the pram and proceeded to sing. Now the mother, in shop, who were normally calm, caught sight of John and screamed out in alarm. She became quite upset and her chest had swelled as someone's attacking my baby, she yelled. Now this sort of thung, thing always trouble arouses and poor John was mobbed and in fuss lost his trousers. As he dashed down the street, he was seen on the hop by a nun who promptly collapsed on the spot. Knocking over tins and cans, brushing aside pots and pans, slightly, slightly tiring and slowing his pace, he tripped over a grid and fell flat on his face. As he shivered and deflated, sat there on the ground, a policeman was called and he looked down and frowned. I'm taking you down to the station, but you can explain there and it had better be good. So the moral of this story is, be sure the intender don't mind, or you could end up like John, classed as a flasher, a nuisance, and heavily fined. <laughs> <laughs>